Hey everyone, Ting here with Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. Today what I'm going to teach you is how you can tell if the dizziness that you're feeling is being caused by BPPV or otherwise known as the crystals and if a maneuver like the Epley maneuver may be helpful for you or if it's being caused by something else which may warrant further investigation from a healthcare professional like your physical therapist. If you happen to like this information that we share on this video, be sure to like it, subscribe to our channel and if you want more information, visit our website www.physical.com slash Hazelton. Alright, so let's get down to the details of uh, how to determine whether your dizziness is caused by BPPV or not. So the term that I mentioned before, nystagmus, actually describes your eyes jumping um, with certain positions. So in the case of BPPV, what we want to see is your eyes jumping after you've moved your head when your head is still. And I'll demonstrate that in one second. So what we look for with the nystagmus though is the direction that the nystagmus is jumping in and that in itself will actually determine where the BPPV or the crystals are which is crucial in treating someone as well. So before we get into the specifics of which uh, canal it's in, um, I will say that with, in cases of BPPV you should expect to get better and have the problem fixed within one to six visits or one to six sessions of a treatment. So if you're going like 10, 12 sessions of treatment for BPPV and it's not fixed, it's definitely, I won't say definitely, but there's a chance that it might be something else and you really should have it looked into further. The first condition we want to look at is what we call posterior canal BPPV and the canals in your inner ear are on both sides, so I'll show you what one side looks like and because Lana is closer to the camera on the right side, we'll show you the right side. So with posterior canal BPPV, what we should expect is the nystagmus to jump upwards and twist, or what we call torsional, to the right. So the position we want to get Lana in to determine that is, I'll have Lana sit facing that way for me and turn her head to the right and then tilt your head over a pillow or a table or something like that. So when we get her into this position and you look at her eyes, you should expect to see the nystagmus or the eyes jump upwards and to the right. If you see that when she's in the, this position, she has posterior canal BPPV and that is when the Epley maneuver is warranted. However, what you wanna do is figure out which side it's on because if it's on the left side, the torsion or the twisting will happen to the left and if you do the Epley maneuver for the wrong side, obviously that's not going to help. And a lot of times it might make, actually make things worse. So if you do consider trying this at home, which a lot of our patients have prior to come to see us, um, be sure to do it properly. Because if you don't do it properly, and we've come across this as well, um, you may not have it be helped, but you also may make it worse. And uh, don't do it like 10, 20 times a day. I had one of my patients do that. She actually did it for a couple of weeks, ended up herniating a disc in the neck because this is a position that can irritate the neck. So be sure to be 100% sure you know where it's at if you're going to do it by yourself and do it properly. Okay, so the second um, type of BPPV we want to talk about, I can't even say the word BPPV, but uh, the second type we want to talk about is when it's in the horizontal canal, which is a different canal to the posterior canal. So if I have Lana demonstrate again for us, if you could face that way, feet on the table. Um, what we want to do is get her laying back with her head tilted forward at about 30 degrees, so a couple of pillows typically is great. And what we want to do is turn her head to the side relatively quickly, um, see what happens to her eyes, and then twist her head the other way very quickly as well, and then see what happens to the eyes. So if it is a case of a horizontal canal BPPV, what we should expect is nystagmus or the beating of the eyes to happen sideways instead of up and down. But it's important to figure out which direction it's beating. So with the horizontal canal BPPV, simple version, when we turn to the right, we should expect her eyes to beat down towards the ground. And when we turn to the left, the same thing should happen. It should beat down towards the ground. If that is happening, you have horizontal canal BPPV and the maneuver to perform is what we call the Gaffoni maneuver, which is a relatively simple maneuver, 
but the difficulty with the horizontal canal PPPV is to determine which side it's on because it's going to happen both sides. So the typical rule of thumb is the side that is more intense in terms of symptoms, let's say Lana feels it worse when I turn her head to the right versus the left, the more likelihood of it being on the right side is higher, so the Gafoni maneuver would be performed to the right side. However, if you perform the Gafoni maneuver on the wrong side, it might migrate it further into the canal, which creates a more complicated version of BPPV, which we'll talk about next. No. So the third version of BPPV is a horizontal canal BPPV, but this time it's gone way into the canal and it's actually stuck at the end of the canal, um, which makes it obviously more complicated to get it off that uh, canal. So what you should see there is when we do that same test, so I turn Lana's head to the right and to the left, um, this time we're going to see the eyes beat sideways, but we're going to see it beat towards the ceiling now. So when I turn Lana's head to the right, it's going to jump that way, and when I turn to the left, it's going to jump that way, and this way we can tell. So my recommendation, if that's happening, um, because it's more complicated and maybe require two or three maneuvers, different maneuvers such as the Venucci Asparella maneuver, um, it may be worthwhile to get it checked out by a healthcare professional like your physical therapist. Um, because at this stage, you have to figure out whether it's on the canal side or whether it's on the cupula side, or the cupula side, which is on the other side, and uh, it takes a little bit of um, finagling to try and figure it out and it really can cause a lot of difficulties if you're trying to do this yourself. And the thing with the horizontal canal BPPVs, they tend to be more intense than the posterior canal, so moving yourself around when you have this condition can really make you fairly intensely dizzy. And uh, the only time someone has um, thrown up on me was doing some of these maneuvers, so be careful doing some of these on your own. So as you can tell, it's really not that hard to tell if you have BPPV or not but the difficulty comes in in determining where the crystals are and if you determine it in a wrong way then treatment could actually make you worse. So if it's something that you think you have at home it's very simple to have someone look into your eyes or grab your cell phone and uh, put the video on. Put yourself into some of those positions and video record yourself and see which ways your eyes are jumping. Um, this way you can determine if it is BPPV or not Remembering the nystagmus when you do these tests should only last around about 30 seconds to a minute. If it doesn't stop and it continues for minutes at a time, it's most likely not BPPV, it's something else. You should really get yourself checked out by a healthcare professional like your physical therapist. We can do further testing to determine if it's something else like a, um, an infection, a uh, mismatch, or some of the other conditions that creates uh, dizziness. So if you think you have BPPV, I suggest you check it out, have a look at yourself, but before you start treatment, get in touch with your health care professional like physical therapists because we're all trained in determining these things and we can help you uh, go through the, pick the right maneuvers, do the treatments, and remembering in most cases uh, people are better within one to six visits, which there's no reason to live with dizziness if it's something easily fixed like that. <laughs>